Man, do you know what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Knowing what Jesus said. Okay, you're going to volunteer in a condition. I ain't got nowhere to live. Mm -hmm. You still want to follow? Yeah. I ain't got no bathroom to sleep in. You still want to follow? Mm -hmm. We ain't got no food in the bag today. Do you still want to follow? Yeah. Ain't no money in the pocketbook. You still want to follow? Yeah, yeah. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Amen. And Jesus is making him aware mm -hmm. of the cause of the cycle. All right. Of being one of his disciples. These are some of the things you might have to deal with. Uh, now, how many of you know that Jesus said when he, when he out of money, he'll send you fish? That's right. Amen. How many of you know when, you, when you're home with Jesus, take a land lunch? I'm telling you right in time to now. He'll feed five thousand with two fish in them. Preach, Ray. Preach, Ray. I'm moving on now, though. Finna get us out. Second thing I want to do. The challenges, discipleship challenges. First challenge is, is the cost of discipleship. We don't count the cost. The second challenge to discipleship. Is to come without reserve. Come without reserve. What is your hesitation mm -hmm. when, when you come? Mm -hmm. Let me show you a second. No, this one doesn't approach Jesus. Jesus approaches him. Notice the text. Verse number 50, uh, 59. He said unto him, he said, he said unto another, follow me. Y'all see that? Amen. Amen. Now, this word follow in the Greek really means to be in the same way with me. No word. Somebody who is actually following me is going in the same direction I'm going in. Amen. Watch this. Whenever somebody is following me, it means that that person is not going to deviate from the way I'm walking, but we walk the exact same way in the exact same path and walk by the exact same pattern. Amen. You might be pigeon toe, but you're still in the same path. Amen. You may be bow-legged, but you're still in the same path. Amen. 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 Now, now, now watch this. There's, a, there's an opposite side to this. When you're talking about somebody who is uh, following you, better make sure that they walk in like you walk. Amen. Uh, now in that crowd that said, we follow you and ain't walking with you. Amen. Y'all say amen where you can. Amen. What are you saying, Reverend Harry? I'm saying that if you going in one direction, they going in another, it's apparent they are not following. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because following care with the idea of accompaniment. Mm -hmm. It care with the idea that both of us, if need be, will hold each other hand as long as we going in the same direction. Amen, amen Reverend. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so watch this. Jesus said to another man, he said, you come and you follow. Mm -hmm. You follow me. Now, he got some reservation. Can I show it to you real quick and I want to get out of your hand? Amen. What do you mean? He, has he got some hesitation. Mm -hmm. He got some reason or uh, in somebody's eyes, he's giving him some excuse why he can't follow right now. So Lord, I do it, but I got a condition. Uh, anybody here beside me knowing somebody said, I'm going to do it when I get myself straightened out. Yeah. When I get clean up. When I get me a few clothes. Yeah. When I get me a few dollars in my pocket and, and find every excuse to do it later rather than right now. Right, 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 right. Okay, let me go somewhere with this. Watch this. Verse number 59. He said, Lord, Suffer me first to go and bear my day. Yeah. Now watch this. When I read and did the history behind it, bro, Adam, I assumed that his dad was already dead. Yeah. Watch this. But his mother and his dad is not dead yet. Uh -huh. mm. yeah. They are sick and could possibly expire. So in essence, let me tell you what he's actually asking Jesus to do. Give me enough time to hang around the house and watch mom and daddy both die and bury them and then I'll come for them. Oh. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but I watched Sister Karen Williams, how she cared for her mama, and how long it took for her to take care of her mama before she went to be 
we will kill you. And you talk about wait till death before you make a decision. Amen. Wait on somebody right there. Amen. You ain't just talking about burying your daddy, but you're talking about waiting till your mama and your daddy die. Uh -huh. they, don't, they may not die the same day. Amen. And then you want to wait for Jesus to wait on you till you decide after they die and after you done had the funeral and everything, and then wait on you to come and make a decision for Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus said, you have not tied out the cost. Amen, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. So what Jesus said, listen, if you come and don't bring no excuses. Don't come with reservation. Amen. And please, sir, don't come with hesitation. Amen. Let me tell you what Jesus showed. Can I show this to you real quick? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Jesus said, let the dead bury their dead. dead. Mm -hmm. Now, this don't hurt some people's feelings, but you're going to be all right. Amen. 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 There are some people who are not saved, and Jesus said they already did. Amen. Uh -huh. Listen, the man that, that Jesus said, come follow me, he said, you already are a disciple. And so don't hang out with the people who are already dead. Hey, all right. <laughs> hey, baby. I get wonderful. He said, if it's going to be a funeral, let them who died bury their dead. But then he tells the disciple, you go preach the kingdom of God. That's it. That's all God. That's it. When you talk about preaching the kingdom of God, ain't no reservation with that. Because uh -huh. it doesn't necessarily mean behind, being behind a pulpit. If somebody needs to be told about the kingdom of God, and he's challenging you and charging you who are saved and disciples to do it. Yeah. He said, that man ain't doing it. Amen. They too busy with mom and daddy funeral. Yeah. Too, they too busy with what's gonna be left after mom and daddy die. Yeah. Who gonna Amen. get what? What? Who gonna get the car? Who gonna get the house? Y'all talk to me right now. Right, man. 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 Right, I come to tell you, if you say you ain't dead, Amen. if you born again, you ain't dead. If you ain't killed in a relationship, you are not dead. This is the only problem I have with both people since then, boy. They got revelation. Jesus said, come now. They said, well, I come, but you're going to have to wait on me. Well, he ain't got to wait on you. Amen. Cause where you want Brother John with you. Yeah. Where you want Sister William with you. Yeah. Where you want Sister Cobb with you. Yeah. Where you want Sister Dan Where yeah. you want Sister Dan Oh God. Yeah. 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 Oh Lord. No. You keep yeah. yeah. saying you want to do it, but then they might look for the opportunity to take. Yeah. 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 Give it up. Give but sitting in this trash was left with Brother Allen, he did not take. As soon as he got his Sunday school money was received because he was left with the debt. She can't be here, but he can. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. They can't be coming with reserves. Said, so Lord, listen, let, let, me, let me let mom and dad both die. <laughs> then let me go to the funeral, sir, you know, and get the body ready and you know, you pick out the casket and the clothes. You understand the clothes when they're going well. Let's go settle this issue by the family property with the rest of the family. Right. And then, Lord, when I get some of this done, then I'll be right there with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Challenges yeah. to discipleship. Some people reserve it. Amen. They got reservation. Amen. They hesitate because something else is more important to them than Christ. Amen. Y'all talk to me again. I'm finna get out of your house. That's the last one. Amen. The third discipleship challenge not only is cost a challenge, cause some people ain't figured out what it costs mm -hmm. to follow Christ. Yeah, yeah. Second time, Jesus did ask the wait on the man to call him to, to uh to call him. He called the man. He said, "You come and follow me." Mm -hmm. 
He says it because he realized this person.